Hi, it's Tyler, and welcome back to another episode of After the Run. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to talk about how healthy foods made me fat. Uh, now, if you're new to the channel, I've talked about this a little bit in the past, of, about my journey of how I gained 100 pounds uh, over about 20 years, just a little each year, um, slowly put on pounds, like most people do. Um, but And I've also talked about how I lost those same 100 pounds in this last year, um, doing things that most people do not do. Okay. Um, now, during this journey for me, as I've lost 100 pounds, and I'm not quite there yet, I'm at about 90 pounds right now, um, but um, as I've been losing weight, I've realized that um, I don't, I'm not losing the weight the same way that experts are telling me to lose weight. I'm not losing weight doing the things that as I grew up, um, they taught me in school and the, the, your conventional health wisdom. And I don't think I have all the answers for you, but I want to share what I have done uh, and why I think doing uh, the conventional things and following traditional wisdom on health, why that made me gain weight, not lose weight. Uh, and why that's such a problem in our society today. Now, I want, I need to start this video with the caveat. What has worked for me might not work for you. And that's the whole point is, it's finding out what works for you and what works for your body. And not all calories are created equal. Not all bodies work the same. We don't burn energy in the same way. Some people have health advantages in life. Some other people have health disadvantages in life. And so it's figuring out, that's the journey that's important, is figuring out what makes you healthy, what makes you feel good, um, and how you can maintain that over the long haul, um, living a healthy, happy life without stressing and without calorie counting all the time and doing all the unnecessary things that actually often lead to weight gain and yo-yo dieting and problems with health. So let me just tell you a little bit again to recap why and how I gained weight. Over the last 20 years I've lived a pretty normal life. I've worked a full-time job and ha I have four amazing kids and a wonderful wife. Um, I have the same struggles, money issues, finishing our basement, um, trying to make sure I'm doing a good job at work, having side hustles and hobbies on the side that interest me. I'm normal, you know, I, I just have the normal things that happen. And when it comes to food, I think I'm mostly normal too, with a few exceptions. Uh, there are some things that I've never had. I'm not a smoker, I'm not a drinker. Um, and so I know most people uh, at least drink um, socially and things like that. So I'm a little different in that regard. But aside from that, I like sugar, <laughs> I, I like fruits, I like and vegetables, I, um, I like me a big steak and, and things like that. And so over the last 20 years, um, I've tried the different things. I've tried going without sugar. I've tried giving up um, different kinds of things in my diet to see what would work. I've tried calorie counting. And in most cases, when I've done those things, what has happened is I've had a little bit, little bit of success in the short term, but it wasn't long-term sustainable. It wasn't things that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. I want to eat ice cream. I like ice cream. And so going without it for six months, then when I can eat it again, I'm going to compensate or overcompensate for what I missed out. And that binge eating is what contributed in, in a large way to my weight gain. And so I would try things and I'd lose five or 10 pounds here and there. Uh, but then when I went off that diet or whatever that thing, and, and I didn't really ever adhere to a specific diet. I didn't do Atkins or paleo or keto or any of those things. Uh, but I'd try little things that were part of those kinds of diets and try it out. And most of them worked. Um, but they weren't things that I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and so it made it really difficult. Now, you could say that what I've done for the last year is the same thing. I've made changes to my lifestyle uh, and to my diet that maybe long-term aren't sustainable. Um, what's interesting is for my first six months of weight loss, I did give up a lot of things, and that's where I lost most of my weight. Um, and in the last three or four months, I've eaten a lot more like normal people. Last night, it was my, it's my wife's 40th birthday today, and last night we had a dinner party where we invited guests over and we did a murder mystery and people brought appetizers, and they were good things. So I had crepes, I had deviled eggs, I had um, quite a bit of chocolate, those little dove things, I probably had like 15 of those. Um, there were good drinks, 
um, and different things there, and I had most of those. Um, and um, that's what I'm doing with my life right now. I'm trying it out. Now, uh, to be fair, I'm also training for a marathon, and I'm also, during the week, eating really clean. Um, and, and so that's part of it too. But back to how I gained weight. Um, I told you this episode is how healthy foods made me fat, and I really believe that. As I tried different things, um, what I found is I would give certain foods up, uh, like sugar and ice cream and things like that, and then I'd be hungry. So I'd overcompensate by eating what I thought were healthy foods. Um, and sometimes that would be vegetables, but more often it would be just my normal foods, um, which would include breads and pastas, uh, fruits and vegetables, and those kinds of things. And I would overeat. And so while I was eating healthy things, I was eating really huge portion sizes. And the biggest thing is there were certain foods that made me hungrier. And so as I ate those foods, I continued to gain weight. Uh, let me give you a few examples. For me, the biggest thing is fruit. Apples, oranges, the things that you can buy in bags at the grocery store, we would buy in bags at the grocery store. We'd bring them home or I'd take them to my office. And if I ate one apple, it would make me hungry for another apple. And I can honestly, there have been times where I've eaten a whole bag of apples, like a three pound bag of apples in a day. Or a three pound bag of oranges or clementines, I've done that in a day. And the reason I did that is as I ate those things that have a lot of natural sugar in them, those would trigger things in my brain that would make me hungrier. And so while they have a lot of good vitamins and, and minerals and, and things that are healthy for my body and I need those kinds of things, there are certain foods that make me hungrier. And recognizing that this last year has made a big difference because I can eat a lot less because I'm not hungry anymore. I'm eating foods that fill me up, uh, that satiate my appetite. When it comes to your appetite, you have to think about your gut, and so that often invo involves prebiotics and probiotics. You have to think about your brain, and that's going to uh, involve like trigger foods, um, starchy foods, processed foods, high sugar foods, added sugar foods, those things, which will trigger things in your brain. And then there's hormones and anatomy, and there's not a lot you can do to control that. There are things that you can do with supplements and other things, and I'm actually pretty anti-supplement right now, and so I don't know as much about that area. Uh, but those three areas are, are what make you hungry. Well, I found that for me the biggest thing was those trigger foods. So I tried giving up fruit, um, and I found I could still eat berries and they didn't make me hungry. So I would often have frozen berries uh, as part of my meal, or I would, I don't make shakes or smoothies anymore because those were triggers for me. Um, but occasionally I'll have a healthy green smoothie and I'll put berries in that, uh, and that doesn't make me as hungry, as, especially if I don't have added sugar in those smoothies. So. Um, so getting rid of fruit. For me, bread is a huge one. Uh, if I have bread, and that includes things like pizza, I get hungrier for more. Now, we still have pizza every Friday night in our home. Uh, and I know that's not a great idea. Um, I've certainly cut down. I used to eat three, four, five slices uh, for dinner. Now I eat one or two. Um, but I'll admit, it does, I'm still hungry for other things. So I have to have either a good salad with that dinner or something else. Um, so bread is a big one for me. I found that other things that are high starch, kind of carb, complex carbs, similar to breads, aren't as bad for me. So pasta doesn't necessarily make me hungry. I don't love it, so we don't have it that much anyways. Rice, same thing. It doesn't make me hungry. Um, but sugar definitely does. Um, any kind of added sugar to things, the sweeteners. Um, and here's the big one. Drinking, a lot of people drink their calories, and soda is one of the worst things because it's high in sugar, high in calories, high in sodium. It's a lot of things that will make you hungrier, and so soda is a killer. But um, I've never really cared for soda, and so that wasn't a big thing for me. It was juice, uh, fruit juices. And fruit juices have a lot of natural sugar, so even 100% fruit juice, that would make me so hungry for other things or thirsty, and so I would start drinking those calories. So what I decided to do, uh, following conventional wisdom, things that were taught to me was, we'll try the diet soda, the zero calorie drinks, even the zero calorie water that has like different sweeteners like stevia or other things. And guess what? Those things also made me thirsty. Artificial sweeteners often make me hungry for other things. And so while I feel good about drinking, I'm like, this is no calories, I'm doing great. 
well, I would overcompensate. And so when I gained the most weight in these last few years, it's because I was doing a lot of zero calorie, low calorie things. Rice cakes was another big one for me. If I eat rice cakes, it made me hungry for other things. So low calorie uh, snacks were horrible for me um, and made me hungry. So getting rid of sugar was a big one. Processed foods, anything processed. So if it comes in a box or a bag or from a fast food restaurant, um, those things usually make me hungrier for more. Um, now, it doesn't mean that I avoid those altogether, but I am more strategic about when and how much I eat um, because I don't want to just keep eating. So what do you do if conventional wisdom says eat fruits and vegetables, but they make you hungrier? Make sure you have so many carbohydrates as part of your food pyramid or whatever. Um, I've gone more to, I'm not on a keto or paleo, but I am on a higher protein and even higher fat diet. And the reason I'm doing that, I, I have actually quite a bit of butter in my stuff. Aside from butter, I avoid dairy because dairy is another one that makes me hungry. Um, but I'm pretty high fat in my diet, pretty high protein, a lot of eggs, lean chicken, uh, stuff like that. Um, but what happens is I have those meals and it makes me less hungry. I just ran a half marathon this morning. Um, next week I'm in a marathon, so this is my taper week, so I'm lower mileage. I know half marathon doesn't seem like low mileage, but for me, I've been doing 20 milers on Saturdays, so this week it's less. Well, what's my recovery meal? Um, actually, I'm gonna do a little bit more cardio this morning. I'm gonna do some lifting and I'm gonna go on the bike. But after that, for lunch, I'm doing scrambled eggs with a little bit of cheese on it. I'm gonna fry up some Spam, which is super high in fat and sodium, it's not good for you, but it's my wife's birthday and she wanted some, so I'm gonna fry up some Spam, uh, maybe some bacon or sausage, so we're gonna have a lot of different meats. Those are all proteins, and they're not, they're not all great for you. But right now, because I've done a lot of cardio this morning, I'm a little salt depleted because I've been sweating and I've been working hard, those things are actually gonna satiate, they're gonna help me with my hunger so I don't have to have a huge amount, and then I can go the rest of my day without having snacks, just having a normal day and then I can have a normal dinner. Uh, and that's the key for me is, what are the things that actually satiate your hunger? And I found certain proteins, eggs are a really good one for me, um, and other kinds of meats are good for me, um, but I don't wanna be on a high meat diet, and so I'm looking for other things. I found that sauteed vegetables really are awesome because I can have a lot of those and they fill me up so I don't need other things. So I'm doing a lot of squash, zucchini, for lunch, I'm shredding my lettuce because I want it really fine so I can put other things on it. And I'll shred that lettuce, I'll put on peas, carrots, and beets, which those are like really high sugar vegetables. But for whatever reason, even though they're high sugar uh, and they might make you more hungry and I know they're, they're not the best vegetables for you, my lunches are very satisfying. So I'll have these salads, I'll put some ranch dressing on, then I'll put maybe some sunflower uh, seeds and then some, usually it's peas as a base, and, but if I'm lucky, corn and beets and I'll add those on. Um, I'll load that up, I'll have a big uh, lunch, mostly salad with a, a small normal human portion size of, of protein um, and that's, I'm good for lunch. And so I've gotten away from that conventional food pyramid. My, my food pyramid looks really different. It's way higher in vegetables, it's way higher in low lean proteins uh, and maybe even fats. Um, I've tried to get rid of sugars. I don't do nuts. Nuts make me hungry because I hate nuts if they're not salted and if they are salted, they make me hungrier. So I, I just can't have a lot of uh, tree nuts. I do have them from time to time. I love cashews. Um, but I just don't have them that often. And other things, um, that's, uh, you know, getting rid of a lot of sugar, uh, dairy, and stuff like that. So my, my food, food pyramid's messed up. What's the point of this whole video? I figured out what works for me because I've been trying very intentionally to pay attention to my body, how it feels, um, how it feels at different times of the day. I know that for me the miracle food, and it's not even close, is water. <laughs> if I drink a lot of water during the day, my body functions better uh, and I'm not as hungry. And so giving up certain snacks and replacing it with water, ice water, that has made it a huge difference. But I've tried a lot of different things, tested it out. Usually when I try something out, I try it out for two to three weeks, see if I feel different. Um, it might not make a difference on the scale, but I do feel different. And that's the crazy thing. I, I mentioned I lost most of my weight in the first six months. Well, since in the last like four months, I've probably lost five pounds. 
but I've lost three or four inches off my waistline. I've lost three or four percent body fat. Um, I certainly feel better. So while I'm not losing a lot of weight anymore, that's kind of slowing down. I still think I have 20 or 30 pounds to lose. Um, but I'm not going to sacrifice muscle to lose that weight, and so I've continued to work out. I've been training for this marathon. I've been lifting because it makes me feel good, and I like how I look. And so this is all just experimenting with different things. I hope that you're willing to experiment. Give it a try. Let me know uh, what your experience is like. Um, in the comments today, here's what I'd like you to do. Go ahead and put what is a one food that makes you more hungry, and what's one food that is really satisfying that you can eat and you feel like it, it really feels what you need, um, is really satiating for you and maybe even healthy. So that's what I'd love to see in the comments. Let's make this productive uh, and help each other out. I, I really want to learn from you what are those foods that, that make you feel better and make you feel full. And then maybe we'll do a follow-up episode down the road and list all those foods out and give you a, share ideas with one another. All right. Have a great week. I'll talk to you again next week. Bye-bye.